adding fractions. I'll take you from the beginning through quickly of how you add a fraction. If I have a third of a pizza and one third, I would have two thirds. Do you understand that? Yes? If I had one fifth of a pizza and one third of a pizza, you would tell me, well, I can't add them. But I can convert them to be the same number on the bottom. So I could put them into 15. One fifth would be how many fifteenths? Three fifteenths. And one third would be how many? Five fifteenths. So now I have eight fifteenths. So you cannot add fractions unless you have the same number on the bottom. Right? And that number we always call the LC. So if I asked you to add two sevenths and one third, I'd expect you to say, well, the LCM of 7 and 3 is 21. I put it all over 21. 7 goes into 21 how many times? Basically, what I'm saying is, I've multiplied the bottom by 3, so I must multiply the top by 3. 3 times 2. That was a 3. It's now over 21. I made it how many times bigger? So what must I do with the top? 7 times 1. 3 twos, 6 and 7, 1, 7 over 21, 13 over 21. So you may only add fractions if you have what? Same number on the bottom. Yes? And the same number on the bottom, we make that, we call that number the LC. Um, is that okay? Alright. Okay. Now, if I ask you now, if I make an algebraic, algebraic is a number at the top, I will add x, and So algebraic fractions means there's a algebra in it. X over 3 plus 1 over 2. To add them, it has to all go over 6. 3 goes into 6 twice. So I have 2 times the X. And 2 goes into 6. I have 3 times the 1. But I want to explain that perfectly. And if you listen to this, I'm going to move on fast after this. Whatever number x was, was over 3. I'm now putting it over 6. So I have made the bottom twice as big. What must I do with the top to keep the same fraction? Do you understand that concept? So that's 2x plus 3 divided by 6. If I had x plus 2 over 5, plus x plus 3 over 2. I'd have to get an LCM, which is 10. So therefore, I put them all over 10. 5 goes into 10 twice the x plus 2. And 2 goes into 10 5 times the x plus 3. 2 by x and 2 by 2. And 5 by x and 5 by 3. All over 10. Can add like terms 2x and 5x and 4 and 15 over and they're algebraic fractions now the only way i can make it a little bit more tricky now is to put minuses when you're multiplying like signs give plus and unlike signs give minus and when you're adding and subtracting integers it's up and down the number line so the only difficulty and that will happen in honors now So they're fractions, and to add and subtract fractions, you need an LC. Yeah. So you put it all over 6. 2 will go into 6 3 times. So you have 3 times 5x minus 3. Minus 3 will go into 6 twice 2x plus 1. 3 by 5x, 15. 
and 3 times minus 3. Minus 2 by 2x. Minus 2 by plus 1. 15x minus 4x. Minus 9 minus 2. All over. Have you any questions? Right. Now, um, let me do another few of adding and subtracting fractions, and then now I'm going to do a little note here. Note. And it now says, beware. If I ended up with 11x minus 12 over 6, I ended up with 11x minus 11 over 6. Had I ended up with 11x minus 12 over 6, I know what would happen. People would divide that 6 into that 12. And they say it's 11x minus 2. Yeah? Can you divide the 6 into the 12? No. 6 has to be divided into both. So the rule is, when simplifying these, you must factorize first. Yes? And you remember that chapter. You would have to factorize before you could simplify. Right? So that 6 can't divide into that 12. I'll come back to that again because I don't really believe you fully understand that. But for the moment, anyhow, you cannot do that. If I was to add them fractions, right, what would I have to do? The LCM. What's the LCM of 6, 12, and 4? So therefore, I'll put it all over 12. That was a 6, it's a 12. I've made it how many times bigger? So I have twice the 3x plus 5. Minus, that was a 12, it's still a 12, once the 1. Minus, that was over 4. 3 times bigger. And once you understand that line, then it's just algebra. 2 by 3x and 2 by 5. Minus 1 by 1. Minus 3 by 2x. Minus 3 by plus 3. All over 5. We would have taught you as well that if you have a minus outside the bracket, what does it do to the signs inside? It changes. 6x minus 6x. They cancel. 10 minus 10. I can just get 0 over 12. That turns out to give me a 0. Have you any questions about adding and subtracting fractions? X over 3 minus X over 5. I'd need an LCM. What's the LCM? I'd put it all over 15. 3 will go into 15. 5 by x minus 5 will go into 15. 3 by x. 5x minus 3x. 2x over 15. Questions? Any great difficulty there? No. How do you simplify fractions? Right? Well, if I had 4 over 12, I can divide 4 into each one of them, I'll get 1 over 3. Yes? If I had 12 plus 8 over 4, now, what have I got to do here? Well, I must divide 4 into both of them. Yes? 4 goes into 12 and into 8, which is 5. <coughs> Because what's 12 and 8? 20 divided by 4, 5. That 12 plus 8 over 4, we would say you should factorize the top first. And in factorizing that top, I take out what's common. And what's common between 12 and 8? 4. Take 4 out of 12, 3 times. And take 4 out of 8, over 
4. Then 4 is cancelled. 3 plus 2 because they're factors leaving you with a 5. So you must factorize first. If you want to cancel or simplify an algebraic fraction. And that is your rule. You must factorize it first. 9x squared y divided by 3x. 9x squared y could be written as 3 by 3 by x by x by y. Over the bottom, 3 by x. So if I want to cancel algebraic fractions, what must I do first? Factorize. That 3 goes with that, and that goes with that. What am I left with? 3x, y. Very good. If I had 12a cubed b over a 3ab squared, factorize the 12. I could have said it's 2 sixes. Is that any good? For me? What would I make it? 3 by 4 by a by a by a by b. Factorize the bottom. 3 by a by b by b. That 3 goes. That A goes, that B goes. What am I left with the top? 4A squared. And the bottom? B. So what must you do with fractions first? You must factor. Right. 8A multiplied by 3AK all over 2A times 6K. I'd write that as 2 by 4 by A by 3 by A by K. What have I done to the top? I factorized it out fully. And this 2A, 2 by A by 2 by 3 by K. A's are gone. K's are gone. That 2 is gone. That 3 is gone. 2 will go into 4. I'm left with 4A over 2, what I have there. 4A over 2. 2A. Have you any questions? And one last one. 3AB squared over 2 divided by AB over 6. How do you divide by a fraction? You invert and multiply. So that's like 3AB squared over 2 multiplied by 6 over AB. 3AB squared, 3 by A by B by B by 6 over 2 by A by B. And then you can cancel out 2 will go into 6 and left with 9 B. That's what I'll be left with. Now, that's just the revision. You have done all of that before. Anything there you do not understand.